In this video, we'll talk about another saint who was canceled by the Novus Ordo Church. Saint Simon of Trent was from Trent, Italy. He was a little boy who was about two and a half years old when it is said that he was kidnapped by Jews on Good Friday in the year 1475. It is said that he was ritually crucified by them. His blood was taken and then his body was tossed in a ditch. Local Jews were found guilty at a trial and Saint Simon was considered a martyr. In October of 1965, the Novus Ordo Church suddenly decided to cancel St. Simon. It seemed that his existence was inconvenient for their new ecumenism. They tried to justify the cancellation by saying St. Simon wasn't really a saint. Here's an article from the Catholic Advance from July of that year. The Mass and Procession, assigned for Blessed Simon of Trent's Feast Day, March 24th, were suppressed this year for the first time. Recently, the chapel housing his remains was closed to the public. The Catholic Advance was once a good newspaper. However, by this time it had given itself over to everything Novus Ordo. Please note that this article oddly refers to St. Simon as Blessed Simon. It seems that the Novus Ordo Church suddenly made an obviously false and clumsy claim that the Church had never actually canonized Simon. They made that claim so they didn't have to explain how they could possibly cancel an actual saint. However, St. Simon of Trent was indeed canonized, and that's the topic of this video. The Novus Ordo Church doesn't like to talk about this much because their story is full of holes. About the only explanation that I could find was on Wikipedia. So I'll use the Catholic Encyclopedia and Wikipedia itself to demonstrate that this is just another Novus Ordo lie. Wikipedia says, Simon became the focus of attention for the local Catholic Church. The local bishop, Hinderbach of Trent, tried to have Simon canonized, producing a large body of documentation of the event and its aftermath. Over 100 miracles were directly attributed to Simon within a year of his disappearance, and his cult spread across Italy, Austria, and Germany. To say that the local bishop tried to canonize St. Simon is just a weird non-Catholic thing to say. It conjures up an image of trying and failing. It would be more accurate to say that the local bishop approved the veneration of St. Simon. As the Catholic Encyclopedia says, We have seen that for several centuries the bishops, in some places only the primates and patriarchs, could grant to martyrs and confessors public ecclesiastical honor. Such honor, however, was always decreed only for the local territory over which the granters held jurisdiction. Still, it was only the Bishop of Rome's acceptance of the cultus that made it universal, since he alone could permit or command in the universal church. So the real question is whether the Pope accepted the cult of St. Simon of Trent. If he did, then St. Simon would be venerated universally as a saint and he would be canonized. Wikipedia adds, The veneration of Simon received wider liturgical impetus in the 16th century, Johannes Molenus included a footnote of Simon of Trent in his 1568 edition of Usard's Martyrology, and this was then incorporated into the new official edition of the Martyrologium Romanium in 1583, with March 24th having the additional text, At Trent, the suffering of the holy boy Simeon, barbarously murdered by the Jews, who was afterward glorified by many miracles. In 1584, the use of this martyrology became obligatory in the Roman Rite. So Wikipedia itself acknowledges that after 1584, the entire Western Church used this martyrology that marked March 24th as the feast day of St. Simon of Trent. Wikipedia adds, Furthermore, in 1588, Pope Sixtus V gave recognition to the local veneration of Simon as an established devotion functionally equivalent to a decree of beatification. Simon could thus be considered a martyr and a patron of kidnap and torture victims. Now this right here is outright deception of the Novus Ordo Church. Please remember that the local bishop already had approved the veneration of St. Simon of Trent. The veneration only needed Pope Sixtus V's approval for St. Simon to be recognized by the entire church. In 1588, Pope Sixtus V gave this approval. However, the Novus Ordo Church would like you to believe that this approval was only equivalent to a decree of beatification. And how do we know that this is an outright lie? We can look at Wikipedia's own article on beatification. It says that at that time, local bishops and not the Pope had the power of beatifying until 1634, about 50 years after the canonization of St. Simon of Trent, when Pope Urban VIII in the Apostolic Constitution 
Galestes Jerusalem of 6th of July reserved the power of beatifying to the Holy See. So St. Simon of Trent had already been beatified and more by the Bishop of Trent, and as Wikipedia acknowledged, the bishop proposed St. Simon for canonization. Wikipedia says that it was not the Pope's power to beatify at that time. The Pope could, however, recognize certain saints and canonize them for the universal church. And this is what Pope Sixtus V did at that time. If you look at the literature before Vatican II, you won't find any mention of a blessed Simon of Trent. You'll only find a mention of Saint Simon of Trent. As recently as the writing of the Catholic Encyclopedia, he's referred to as Saint Simon of Trent. Was it in the Novus Ordo Church's authority to cancel a canonized saint once he is canonized? St. Thomas Aquinas wrote, Since the honor we pay the saints in a certain sense is a profession of faith, meaning a belief in the glory of the saints, we must piously believe that, in this matter also, the judgment of the church is not liable to error. Don't let the con artists of the Novus Ordo Church lie to you. St. Simon of Trent is a saint and a friend of God. The Novus Ordo Church also likes to suggest that the Jews who were convicted of killing St. Simon of Trent were innocent, and it seems that this mystery could be solved very easily. His relics now rest in St. Peter and Paul Church in Trent. The bones of his hands and feet could easily be examined by an expert to see if there is any evidence that St. Simon underwent a ritual crucifixion. St. Simon of Trent, pray for us. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll be back again within a week with another one. But in the meantime, please check out my Facebook page and my Twitter page. Every day I post additional content that you won't find on this YouTube channel. And also, please pray for the church.